Um, how do people react when you say that you are a theologian? Some taxi drivers <laughs> were, sort of, were, were telling me that, okay, we don't need religion anymore because science now explains everything. You know, that's the sort of, that's the stuff that Chesterton talked about in the 1920s, that where the elites were thinking that, okay, science is, is, is replacing religion. And now somehow it, it, it took a hundred years and now the taxi drivers think it, whereas the elites no longer do in the same way, right? There's <laughs> a certain assumption that I'm therefore incredibly religious. It's not a label I, I choose myself so often. I'm more comfortable thinking of myself as a reader of theology. It, <laughs> theologians get a bad reputation. I don't fit into the normal category of theologian in a number of people's eyes. You know, I, I think some people think it's not possible to be hopefully slightly fashionable and a theologian. So I think my dress, obviously, um, when I, you know, I'm quite flamboyant in my dress and I have like big hair and things. And I think that sort of puts people off. It's possible to be a theologian and not fit the stereotype of 